Sasha my pal back again with another new card fold um, I've seen this one on a couple of pages on a couple of Facebook groups and I've absolutely fallen in love with it it's called a theatre fold and this is what I'm just gonna make sure now my camera doesn't keep focusing and out and this is how it locks it goes into a normal size envelope and then da -da -da. so as you can see you it I think it looks a bit like looking through the lens of a camera as well. But I suppose that, that'd be like a little stage area. And these would be like the curtains of the theatre, so to speak. So I watched a really useful um, tutorial by Pretty in Paper Crafts by Tiffany Almeida, I think her name is. But I know that Kylie Petucci has also um, done a tutorial on it. And I just... oh. I loved it straight away as soon as I saw it. So this is the other one I did. So I made the one using the little ladybug dies and this one then using the sale and home set because I know I've said to you, but I'm determined that every time I make a lady's card, I'm going to make a man's card for my collection. So this is the card I'm going to do tonight. And I'm going to use the painted poppies and peaceful moments. Now, I don't mind telling you that this card took a little bit of faff in for me. I'm not a measurements kind of girl. This is my prototype using just off cuts of paper. So this is how it sort of stands on the mantelpiece. And I really, really struggled. I listened to all the instructions. I wrote them all down and I could not cut my card the same. And then I was wondering whether, because I know that US A4 card is slightly different size to UK A4 card. I don't know whether that makes a difference, but it certainly did for me. So I have done the measurements and I've done them in metric. And let me tell you, I'm quite challenged. I am really, really challenged when it comes to things like that. So I'm going to talk, talk it through with you. I hope you understand. And that, that, that's not me judging you were uh, understanding. That's me judging my ex explanation. So the first thing you need to do is get your A4 piece of card. And you're going to cut it. So literally is in half and then half again. But the measurements are for us UK ladies. You need to cut your card. And it's. 10 by 5 by 14.8 centimetres. Okay, so this is all in centimetres today. So you will end up with four pieces of card from your one piece of card stock. And that's all we need to make this card, card-wise anyway, apart from two little tiny strips. I'm just going to show you the sets I've used and then I'm going to move them out the way. So I use the Peaceful Moments for my sentiment and the Painted Poppies. I'm also using the designer paper. So... That's what you do first. Cut your piece of card stock so it's in half, so that gives you 10.5, and then it's in half this way, which gives you 14.8. So each piece is 10 by 5 by 14.8. Okay, two of those, then you need to score, and you score it at 3.7 centimeters or 37 millimeters by. 7.4 centimeters or 74 millimeters your scoring trimmer is probably the best for this because even though i've got the metric scoring board i couldn't i didn't have um all the, the tiniest increments so use this if you've got a scoring trimmer this is the stamp it up one if you've got a fiskars one with a scoring blade use that to help you and then what all you're going to do it's folded over and I'm going to use my bone folder now. Fold it again. Honestly, I was scratching my head trying to do this one. So you've got two of these and what they're going to do is they're going to give you a little bit of a, an L shape like this. Okay. Like a capital L. And they are going to go like this on each side. This is important to know if you've got paper with a certain direction on it, if you see what I mean. Okay, this one doesn't matter. But on the one piece of paper I used, I had to make sure that I stuck the piece of paper on the right way round. 
Okay, so I'm going to stick my designer paper now on these bits. These little tiny pieces are 10 by 3 centimetres by 7.2 centimetres. Yeah, I'm not, I struggle with measurements, I'll be honest. I'll, I've always been slightly challenged when it comes to number <laughs> and measurements. I'm not usually one for making cards that need absolutely accurate measurements or for scrapbook pages that need accurate measurements. So this has, this is me learning a new skill during lockdown, I think. So I'm just using some Tombow because I want to be able to wiggle it around. I love this poppy paper. Absolutely stunning. So I'm using poppy parade cardstock as well. I'm just going to put these two to one side for now. Because the next thing you need to do, you've got another bigger piece of paper, which is, um, as you can see, and unfolded there's no score lines or anything on this and you're going to put your designer paper now this is if you want designer series paper um no you've got to use this ignore everything i just said there this is for this frame part of your card okay this is for this part so that is slightly it's just to give us a little tiny um border it is 10 by 3 by when uh, 14.5 centimeters i've got all the measurements written down so i'll take a photo at the end because i if you're anything like me is really hard to um remember the measurements as somebody's talking th you through it okay so you're just going to give yourself a little tiny border right our next job now is to cut the center piece out and i've just re ah now i remember why i was going to the other side of my craft room i then forgot two seconds i'll be back i was going to get a little tiny bit of washi tape because i've just i've actually just finished one. Oh no this mm, that's not washi now i've usually got about 29 rolls on my desk but not this time. And even though I've got a really small craft room, surprising how far away <laughs> my washi tape is kept. So you are going to use is the fourth, this is the rectangular stitch die, and is the fourth size in. And I'm going to now try desperately, I might just pull it towards me so you don't see the top of my head my very grey head at the moment. I can't wait for the hairdressers to reopen. I've got naturally curly hair, so not only do I look like somebody from the hair bear bench, it's also going quite grey. Oh, just make sure you do a better job of sticking that centrally than I just did. Okay, so make sure it's right in the centre of your card, and we're going to whap that through the big shot. Now I find these notoriously difficult to cut through. One lady suggested putting it at an angle because it takes the dye easier. But I I find it just needs a couple of runs through the big shot. I'm gonna go back and pull. Now I know that um Kylie Batucci, as I said, I think has done a Zoom live video and I know that her husband, I think is Bruno, has um, also shared the card that inspired them. But I saw another lady done it and I can't find the post that I found on Facebook with her showing the card she'd made because I would have liked to have sort of directed you to that as well because she did an absolutely stunning job as well. So this piece now here don't throw it away look at me i'm stuck to everything because what we need to do now this little piece here we're going to bring in our fourth piece of red card that we haven't done anything with yet you're going to lay your frame over the top so it's absolutely lined up perfectly which once again i tend to struggle with and I put a little bit of glue on this bit because 
I'm going to use this as my guide and I'm just going to stick it on the back. Sorry, I keep going out to shot. I've tried to focus in more for you because this is a card you need to sort of really focus on. So I keep forgetting now how small a screen I'm working in. So you just need to line it up perfectly. Drop it back in through the gap that you've created. And to, ooh, there we go. Is that, let me just check that absolutely straight. Once again, use Tombow because it does give you a little bit of chance to move things around. I think I just need to come slightly up there. Then I've actually used another one of the rectangular dies and I've stamped this wishing you, oh, oh, I keep going out to shot, whoa, wishing you every happiness the special day will bring. And that's what's going to be the focal point of my card. There we go, I'm just sticking that down ready. And popping that on there, like that. Then, the next thing we need to do is to stick, so when you look at it like this, <laughs> sorry, this piece here needs to be stuck absolutely flush to the end of your bottom part of your card. So I'm going to once again use Tombow for this. I'm going to have to put markings, I think, on my desk to remind me where I've got to line up. Okay. So then, fold it over. I have to just turn it around just so I can check. It needs to line up perfectly because it'll make a difference in whether it meets in the middle or not. Okay, so press it down. Then your other one then, do exactly the same thing. So the third one over, put your glue on there. I really rediscovered, I've always loved this poppy paper, but I rediscovered it the last few days because I made some other poppy cards. Sometimes I think we get so carried away that we forget what we've got in our craft rooms. Or is that just me? So then this gives you this effect. Okay. Now if you notice, this is a slightly darker blue than that, but I won't tell anyone if you don't. Now, you need two little strips like this, and this is actually one and a half centimetres wide, and I think is, it's probably about that length, yeah, it's about 14.8 centimetres long. And what you need to do with these end parts, you're just going to put it, and as you can see we've got ends either side, you're going to gently pinch it either side. Not too tightly because your card needs to travel in and out of there. Okay, that's going to be the mechanism that makes your card move. These little tiny strips. So I'm going to do the same on this side now. So pinch it, but don't fold it really, really tightly because otherwise your card, your curtains won't open. Right. So you've got these two little pieces then, like this with little hooks on. Then you need to, oh, before I do that, I'm just going to use, this is the one inch corner, no, the one inch circle punch. I'm just going to cut into my frame on the side, just so you can get your finger in there to pull the card through. Like that. Whoop. I nearly had my eye out. Turn your frame over and you're going to put glue on those two little folded pieces. And I advise from ones I've made, try and get it as close to this edge as possible. Otherwise, what tends to happen is sometimes, the first one I made, um, these little doors pop out of it, pop out of their frame, if that makes sense. Right, so, once again, use Tombow, because you need to be able to move them around just to Make sure they're in the right place. So there's one. And I just sort of loosened it a little bit like that. Here's the other one. Now, 
it's not the end of the world if it's a bit too tight you can just gently peel this off and put a new one on you're not going to lose the whole card if you've done it too tight but you if you have it too tight it won't work properly just make sure i get the glue so there's your frame then then all we're going to do is slide that side in there and I think I have done mine too tight there. And then, I, so this is a case of, pardon me, I pulled it off anyway. Do as I say, not as I do, because I just made that one too, too small. Oh, what a donut. But it's always good to show that how you can correct it. So I've just sort of bent it back a bit more now I think probably this is probably the tricky part of the card I found because that's a bit and what I'll do then I'll just sort of do some more fiddling off screen perhaps there we go it's that side in there and this side I wonder if this one's going to be too tight as well Nope, this one's easier. So there is your card mechanism. Okay. Da -da -da. Now then, I'm going to actually decorate the front. If you decorate the curtains, they won't pull through properly. So what I tended to do on my others that I've made, I decorate the frame like this. So that you could have things coming in, if you see what I mean. So it frames it. But if you stick anything to these doors, your card won't move. So whatever you put on it must must be stuck to the frame outside. Right, let me just... Oh, look at this causing me trouble. So this is how not to make the card. Right, this one... What I'm going to do for now, so my glue isn't struggling, I'm just going to pin that there for now, right? I'm going to cheat a little bit. So my card, my poppy's going down here, so I'm going to actually stick my foam dots on the frame, just to remind me that the way I'm going tonight, that, not to stick to the curtains, my little doors, there we go, there's my poppy. And I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow then up there, only on the leaves that are touching the frame. I can't emphasise that enough. Otherwise your card won't move at all. There we go. I'm just going to stick them there. And then I've got a little sentiment then. That I think I'll put in the centre. I'm going to put that on foam dot. The outside can be as bulky as you like then because um, that's not moving. I'm just going to bring it in close so I can get it centrally. I'm going to close it just so I can see where I'm working. Like that. There we go. There we are. That's better. Let's move in now. So there it is. And then when you open it, there's the sentiment inside. Now I think I might, I, yeah, I think I might put another one there, but I think I'll put some Tombow on that. Like that across there. And I might put my other leaf, I might cut that so it doesn't look like it's going in the wrong direction and put that across there. So <laughs> even though I made it look quite complicated, they are actually easy to make. <laughs> it just sometimes takes, they're a little bit faffy. I think the faffiest part of it, I'm putting those little back strips on. The rest is easy, whereas the back is the, is the faffiest part. And there we go. There is the theatre fold card. Give it a go. As I say, I, I made that look hard work. I've got a habit of doing that, sorry. Um, 
I'll put my measurements. I'll take a photo of my measurements and I'll put that on for you as well. I'd love um, you to comment below if you've tried any of the new folds that I've been sharing and whether you're enjoying these videos. And I wish you all the very best. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Hi, Val.